okay, here's another dream. This is actually from earlier relating to um, Michael and Andrew. So this was probably about July 23rd, 1988. It's not actually dated, but uh, it's right after this other uh, dream from July 23rd, 1988. So, first I have Thompson's running a Dairy Queen out of their house. Then I have Brett Bowman, Down and Out, Orange Fish. Okay, this is about a month after Brett Bowman had been hit. I don't know if I knew that Brett Bowman had been hit by this point. I don't know. I don't know when I found this out. I'm doing something inside. Michael looks out, says Andrew's outside. I go outside. I don't feel much like talking to him. I'm in the apple orchard, my parents' house, and I see a beautiful blue and yellow bird picking, pecking along the branches. Looks like the bird from Yellow Submarine. Well, I guess it wasn't necessarily a bird in the movie. No, it was like a vacuum creature that vacuumed up everything sucked up everything and eventually itself I think this bird is like that but really this bird is a bird then walks along and pecks it's blue and yellow it's a yellow bellied body scraper I say with a British accent um, it looks like I say I say that to something in Andrew Wait, who's there? Is Michael and Andrew there? But this doesn't look like the word Michael. Okay, anyway, I can't figure out why none of this, none of the apples are good anymore. I see a red, firm apple that looks very good. Pick it up and an insect crawls out of the hole. Yuck, I dropped the apple. So this is the drawing I did based on my dream. And then this is sort of another version of it. This is a picture that Andrew Church drew for me, you know, when he was, you know, trying to um, seduce me, get me to go out with him and stuff. This would have been in September 1987 he drew this picture. And put it in my locker at school at Hamlin. So that was from 87, fall of 87. And then this dream is from July of 88. So I think that this was actually a link to Andrew Church, just like when he said Andrew's outside in the stream, it was a reference to Andrew Church. Now, why would Mike... As far as I know, Mike never knew Andrew Church. Or was it Andrew Church? But see, it, Mike's friend, the only Andrew that I knew that Mike knew was Andrew Schaefer. But in the stream, it appears that it's Andrew Church. I don't feel much like talking to him. I mean, I have a sense that it's Andrew Church. I don't really know because I didn't write, I didn't write which Andrew it was. But this bird here is a link to Andrew Church. And that, as well as the yellow submarine. Um... So it's that monster that sucks everything up and then it sucks itself up. Uh, and in the stream, it's specifically blue and yellow. So the duck, you know, that Andrew Church drew, why did he draw a duck? A duck is a corrupt doctor. So Andrew Church, Andrew Church, who ended up at Harvard, entirely knew about all of this. He knew I was being controlled through mind control and these doctors, and he was part of it. And he ends up at Harvard in, for graduate school. Andrew Schaefer ends up going to Brown for undergraduate. You know, Andrew's church was from Two Harbors, Minnesota. I think it was Two Harbors. You know, rural northern Minnesota. Andrew Schaefer's from Eureka, California. You know, these little 
two bit towns that they're ending up in these you know very small elite Ivy League schools in the East Coast. Okay, so that's interesting, and this is shortly before I end up meeting Andrew Lopez, a third Andrew, getting set up by Mike, and I think that we need to also note the blue and yellow colors of this bird. That's a link to the Cal system, I think, to University of California in general, and to Cal Berkeley, perhaps, specifically, possibly also UCLA. Those are all um, schools that use blue and yellow. Um, the first bit, I say Thompsons are running a Dairy Queen out of their house. Now, this is another name mix-up, and it's also a, a, a link to the idea that this Andrew is not the Andrew I think it is. Why? Because, first of all, I know that the Thompson family were also involved in this trafficking. It's pretty obvious by the dreams and things. Um... But this is a play on Thompson's. My daughter's father's last name is Thompson. When I met him, he said to me that his sister Valerie, they nicknamed her Dairy Queen because she used to wear a Dairy Queen jacket, so they used to call her the Dairy Queen. Now there's another, you know, another meaning to this, which is, you know, I am sort of, you know, the Dairy Queen because the dairies run my life. The, the Freemasons connected with the dairy business. So um, this is a double meaning, Thompson and Thompson. Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen, all those things. Then it says Brett Bowman, down and out, orange fish. What I find is interesting is the way I wrote this, actually. When I see this format, it looks like Brett Bowman, down and out, orange fish is almost like an address. I think the Thompson family... I'm going to come out and say it now. I think the Thompson family was connected to what happened to Brett Bowman. It was my family, too, I think. My mom. I think the Thompsons were connected to it. This isn't the only reason why I think that. I think um, another reason has to do, again, with um, broken flowers. And the the scene with the woman called Markowski, who's a pet psychic. You know, and the black lab is mentioned there. It's a double meaning, you know, not just a, a Labrador retriever, but a laboratory, a covert laboratory. Um, the blonde woman that appears to be a receptionist, but she behaves more like, the you know, a boss in some ways, looks a bit like um, Heidi. She looks a bit like my mom. She looks a bit like Heidi. Okay, I think that there's a reason for that. Heidi became a nurse. I'm just naming names now because I'm tired of being in this situation. The names are all rolling out. They're all rolling off my tongue. I'm not going to stop myself anymore. Now, I'm using women's maiden names, and I'm not using married names at this point. And, you know, that's a small bit of anonymity you still get. But um, I know you all were born into this, but uh, at some point you need to start calling this stuff out. Now, Heidi has already survived a bout of cancer. So um, her response to that is to shut the hell up. Her response should be to shout loud. That's what I say. You need to stop letting these people shut you up with their cancer assassinations and their intimidations. Um, I'm doing something inside. Michael looks out, says Andrew's outside. Okay, we've done that. I'm in the Apple orchard. You know, I would wonder if this has something to do with Apple Computer. I was introduced to Apple Computer. I mean, Heidi Thompson, the Thompsons had an Apple Computer, an Apple II in the early days. And we had um, a CPM machine, like a pre-DOS machine. But they had an Apple II. In 1986, a woman named Lynn Sims came up and was my housemate for a while when I was house-sitting. And she had been an employee at Apple. She said she got laid off. They were doing big layoffs around that time, around 86. And she showed me how to use Apple Computer. And, um, you know, I went back and forth between whatever I had access to at schools at that time. But I eventually kind of landed in the app, Apple camp. Um, and it's one person that I knew that was an Apple you know, enthusiast, pointed out to me, and it really is true, that if you look at um, Hollywood movies, 
unless there's a specific reason for somebody in a movie, you know, at least this was true back then, it's been true for many years. If there was a specific reason for someone in the movie to use a, um, a Windows type machine, you know, like maybe it's a business of some sort that where you would not see an Apple computer, you'll see, you'll see that, you know, a non Apple machine. But just generally in movies, if you see somebody use, using a computer, it's going to be an Apple Macintosh, even in the era when the Apple computers weren't as popular. That's the link between Apple and Hollywood. So I know that I'm linked with Hollywood. In fact, the very dream right before this is in Hollywood. So um, I have a feeling this is a link to the Apple computer company. So an insect crawls out of the hole. Um, by the way, that reminds me, uh, Courtney Love has some sort of link with Apple computer too through her family. Um, so interesting. I think this is the idea of Apple computer um, spying on me specifically. That's what I think this is. So that's what this is about. This is about the Andrew being being set up with Andrew. It's about name switching and Apple, you know, isn't necessarily the Apple that you think it is. This creature is and isn't a bird. This is and isn't, you know, one Andrew. It's the other Andrew. Then this, the orange fish. This is a, a reference, I think, to a dream I had as a... I think I recorded it in... 1983 of being my mom telling me I had to kill a fish of a fish an orange gold fish and I have to kill it by sawing with a serrated knife I wonder if that orange fish dream was a reference to Brett Bowman is it possible that Brett was being slated for the slot as early as 1983 I was 15 in 1983 and he was 17 I think it is because I already can tell by looking at the yearbook, the high school yearbook, that they all knew about it in high school. They all knew that something was going to happen to Brett. That was 1984. So yes, it was 83. It was at least 1983. They were planning to do this to Brett Bowman. And this was a big plan. It involved a lot of people. The FBI could walk right, knock on people's doors. They could lie to the FBI. It would be a felony. The FBI won't do it. <laughs> 